if you press OK, which is the center button, it brings up this easy setup form. Well, is it on right now, Boyd? Yeah, this okay. is your main power button. Okay. If you push that, it turns everything off. So if there was no screen and you pushed OK and nothing happened, you'd have pushed the power button to turn it on. It comes up. Uh, it just shows what the boiler information is. And then when you push OK, um, it comes up with this screen. Uh, the easy setup screen takes you down arrow, down arrow takes you to the home screen again. Pressing OK tells you that the system's on standby. That means there's no call for heat or domestic hot water. When there is a call for heat or domestic hot water, there's a little indicator that'll come up over here. It'll say DHW or CH, and CH means for circulating heat. Um, and that's really about all we need to know. This is information. Um, tells about the status of the boiler. So if there was a problem, uh, we might uh, request that the owner or the, the tenant uh, enter this mode and give us some information as far as troubleshooting is concerned. And that's in the boiler information screen. That's correct. And then uh, again, go down to home. And then you go back to the, the main screen. Um, so you're never going to get in trouble pushing anything here, really? The only thing is if you go into this main screen, mm -hmm. and this is the easy setup. This is heating. This is domestic hot water. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you can actually change the setup. What are the other two? That one is uh, oh, the language. language. No German? If you have no German, I'm sorry, Mr. No Bernhard. German. Fahrenheit and uh, not Celsius again. Sorry, Mr. German. And uh, this one is uh, store factory. We're going through the the setup. It just puts you back into factory okay. set points. Now, this is a hot water setup. We're running with a switch, which means that there's a thermostat in the water heater tank that controls the water heater to domestic hot water temperature. So the, so the hot water heater is actually talking to this thing here. Yep. And there's two options. We can have a sensor in the water heater or a snap switch, and this is set up with a switch. Okay. Uh, the boiler will heat boiler water to 186 to 1 degrees, circulate it through the water tank jacket, and heat the domestic hot water. Um, it also has... Uh, Domestic hot water priority timeout, and we're going to set that. What does that mean? What that means is this boiler will, if there's a call for dom for domestic hot water, the boiler will dedicate its function to heating hot water. And let's say that you had somebody with um, five teenage girls, and they were all taking continuous showers. We can set it so that after 30 minutes of trying to heat hot water and not catching up. It's going to terminate the hot water heating program and go to space heating. Okay. So if it was 20 below, and again, you had five daughters taking continuous back-to-back -back showers, this will time out after 30 minutes. And that's, that's that setup is complete. This is space heating. Uh, we have a switch. In other words, the end switches off the zones, turn the boiler on. Outdoor reset means that the boiler water temperature will vary with outdoor temperature. There's an outdoor thermostat on this. This is the heating curve at uh, about zero degrees. The domestic the water will be at 180 degrees and uh, below uh, anything below 65 degrees the boiler will operate and it'll start at about 120 and then ramp up in temperature. So does it have in the summertime is, is the, for the, the hot water heat for the hot water heat uh, uh, tank is that 186 degrees or is yes. that? So it's yes. got two different heating settings in here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's got two boilers in here? Or? No, one boiler with actually three potential set points. One's okay. for domestic hot water, one's for space heating curve. And if we had in-floor heat where we wanted to have cooler water, we, we would be able to use this curve, which is 60 to 140, but we don't have that application okay. with this boiler. So uh, warm weather shut down. So, so it... it, it just heats instantaneously to that temperature that it's being called for. Correct. Okay. Yeah. And this is warm weather shutdown. Anything below 66 degree outdoor 
above 66, and all of a sudden at 68 degree outdoor temperature, they will, the boiler will not heat the space. Okay. okay. And that's a set point, and that's all done. But that has nothing to do with the hot water again? No, it's just hot water is a separate okay. zone, yeah. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Any maintenance I have to do to this thing, or? There's a, I mean, down here there is a condensate trap, and that will, over a period of time, collect some debris. It's a sealed combustion boiler, so it brings outdoor air in for combustion air. And if there are any bugs or dirt in the airstream that's coming in, it will go through the boiler and condense and get into this trap. And this is removable. And uh, How do you remove it? There's a slip fitting right here. You loosen that by turning it counterclockwise. Yep. And that trap will pull right off. Okay. You can dump it out, rinse it out, uh, fill it with a little bit of water, and stick it back in. Well, you have to fill it with water. Yeah, what the trap does is isolates the boiler flue exhaust from the, the combustion airstream. So okay. They're going to get caught in the water. We're not getting combustion products into the building. Yeah. It will fill by itself. You don't have to fill it, but that's just the normal protocol. Okay. Half inch or so? You, you don't need to. Can't we just pipe it to the, uh, to the drain and just let it drain or... Or it has to be no, on there. It is piped to the drain. It's got to have water. Oh, it does. Okay. But this what this trap should have water in it so that it seals and you don't oh, get combustion okay. gases okay. going out of the drain. Got it. And how often should that be checked? Probably every two years. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. So okay. not a big right. deal. There's a sensor in here that probably also every couple of years should be clean. But uh, the, the the heat exchanger. Um, the way this is designed, it's got large passages in it, and the condensate washes it, so it, it's self-cleaning. They're just an awesome, awesome piece of equipment. Okay. So there's really nothing that should make this thing inoperative all of a sudden? Not anything other than low on gas, mm -hmm. uh, a big leaf plugging the intake okay. yeah. pipe. What if we have a power outage? And everything, how do I get it going? Again? There's memory in there, it'll automatically start right Is there a back. battery we have to replace? No. There's no a, low battery warning or anything like no, that? Or? It's a, uh, a um, built-in uh, uh, permanent memory chip. So we're not going to lose lose memory settings or anything? Or nothing else. Yeah, all the settings will stay. Okay. Right. And you can have it off, I believe, for, I think, 72 hours without, uh, without losing anything. And should that happen, it'll go back to factory set points which will still give you heat so and, and hot water and hot yeah. water it's right. going to go to those okay. 186 right. degree domestic water okay all right. all right as far as the hot water tank what else would do is there there's nothing we need to flush out here no. i don't see any kind of flush like my hot water tank has where i have to f no this is a stainless steel tank oh it is okay lifetime all right, yeah. and this is your set point here. That's the set point, and this this sets for. That's your temperature of your domestic hot water. Okay. So you turning this warmer makes it warmer. Where are you at now? Right about there. Yeah, which probably right should here. We should probably insulate this pipe then too, huh? Yeah, a little bit of that. Yeah, it probably should be insulated. So how That's much it. water's in here? Um. 30 gallons. Oh, no, this is a 40. Yeah. It's so, but, it, but it's constantly there's 36, heating. 36 right. gallons in there. So if okay. five girls are taking showers and we go through this, will that thing make up enough hot water to let the other four keep right. going? You have 110,000 BTUs firing into this thing. Okay. And it's got the boiler water um, flows around the entire jacket. So the heat exchange is really, really awesome. And uh, regular water heater about a 40,000 BTU burner. Mm -hmm. Electric water heater has an 18,000 BTU element mm -hmm. in it. So this is 110,000. For 28 minutes, it would dedicate its purpose, or for 30 minutes, it would dedicate. The way you have it set right yeah. now. So you're putting 110,000 BTUs into this exactly. thing. It should heat it. It's like an instantaneous. Instantaneous, yeah. And there's 36 gallons already at temperature. Yeah. yeah. The sensor for the domestic water is down in a well that's sitting about here. So as this water comes up and it feels that cold, it kicks it into domestic water mode. So, so this is a different sensor from this one, or, or this is just this is connected to this. Okay. This is the the connection that goes to the boiler. Okay. 
Right. Yeah, I took a shower this morning, and, and it took a long time for hot water to get upstairs. Yeah, it's just a matter because of, you don't have yeah. it circulating. And that's yeah. why this is hot yeah. because you have your circulating. It's not all tight in, in a loop. No, that's why. Right. Yeah. There's no circulating pump like we had before because no. we used to have a circulating pump, right. didn't we? This is your water heater now. Before we circulated water from here to your exist the old water heater tank, and now this is the water heater tank. Okay. The only way you get const instant on, if I'm correct, is have a looped. Circuit. Right. We're, 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 like, like I said, we, we yeah. had a circulating yeah. pump uh, before. Right. But all that circulating pump was to circulate it. Oh, just the to the water. Okay, it didn't circulate the house. No. All right. And circulating the house cost you a fortune because you got right. constant hot pipes circulating. Yeah. And the reason this is hot is because you had the yeah. hot water yeah. this morning. Do, may, do they make these things in a power flow vent? Like the old hot water heaters? Like the reams or whatever? You know, like a propane fired power vent on. They make them, yeah. But those power vented water heaters are basically 70% efficient water heaters mm -hmm. that use in house air and mix it with a flue gas to cool it so you can run it out with PVC. So what happens is you're evacuating air from the house to cool your flue gas so you can vent with PVC. They're the most inefficient thing God ever made. I mean, it's, they're yeah. awful. Well, and, maybe I'll get a price yeah. from you on my... Yeah. It's, you got one as bad? No, I, they're perfectly fine, but they're nine years old. Uh, I've got two of them. I've got a power full propane. Okay. 